the earth trembling, tsunamis surging, hurricanes raging and volcanoes erupting. These unstoppable forces leave destruction in their wake. But what if we could control nature's most fearsome events? This is what if, and here's what would happen if we could control natural disasters. First up, let's talk hurricanes. These storms can cause a whole lot of damage, especially along coastlines. They release an astonishing amount of energy, equivalent to a 10 megaton nuclear bomb exploding every 20 minutes. That's just mind-blowing. Hurricanes get their strength from warm ocean waters. So if we could somehow cool down those waters, we might be able to weaken the storms or even stop them from forming. One idea is to use giant underwater turbines to mix warm surface water with cold water from deeper down. It sounds cool, right? But there's a catch. It would be a massive project, and we don't know how it would affect the environment. Plus, we'd have to figure out where to put all those turbines and how to maintain them. It's quite surprising, but around the world, there are about 500,000 earthquakes each year. Most of them are small and go unnoticed. But around 100,000 can be felt, and about 100 of them cause significant damage. Earth is constantly shaking. Earthquakes are caused by the Earth's tectonic plates moving around and bumping into each other. We can't stop that from happening, but maybe we can find a way to release stress along fault lines before it builds up and causes a big quake. One idea is to inject fluids into the ground to help the plates slide past each other more easily. It's a neat idea, but there's a risk we could actually trigger more earthquakes by doing that. And we'd have to figure out what kind of fluid to use and how much to inject. Volcanoes are a whole different beast. There are around 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth today, and in the last 10,000 years alone, we've seen about 1,300 to 1,500 confirmed eruptions. To stop an eruption, we'd need to mess with the volcano's insides. Picture this, we drill into an active volcano and remove some of the magma, which could lower the pressure and stop an eruption from happening. It's a wild idea, but it's also really risky. Drilling into a volcano is super dangerous, and we might just set off the eruption we're trying to prevent. Plus, we'd have to figure out what to do with all that magma we remove. Alright, let's talk about floods. Floods are the most common natural disaster worldwide. They can happen anywhere due to various factors like heavy rain or rapid snowmelt. They can cause a ton of damage, especially in low-lying areas. So, what if we could control where the water goes and prevent it from flooding our homes and cities? One idea is to build giant retractable barriers that can be raised during a flood to keep the water at bay. We could also create better drainage systems, like bigger storm drains and canals to move the water away from populated areas. But, as you might guess, these projects would be expensive and could have some not-so-great impacts on the environment. Like building those barriers might require constructing huge dams, which could mess with the natural flow of rivers and disrupt ecosystems. Plus, all the materials we'd use to build them could contribute to carbon emissions and destroying natural habitats. Here's the thing. If we could control natural disasters, we'd have some big questions to answer. Like, who gets to decide when and how to step in? And how do we know if we're helping or hurting the environment? Messing with nature might have some unexpected results. We'd need to think long and hard about the consequences of our actions and make sure we're not causing more harm than good. And we'd have to figure out how to work together as a global community to make these decisions. So, what's next for controlling natural disasters? Researchers are working around the clock to come up with new ideas and technologies. They're using satellites to monitor weather patterns, developing advanced computer simulations to predict disasters, and even working on creating materials that can withstand extreme conditions. But until we can control natural disasters, we need to focus on getting better at preparing for them and knowing what to do when they strike. That means improving our warning systems, building stronger infrastructure, and educating people on how to stay safe during a disaster. It's exciting to think about what the future holds for natural disaster control. And speaking of the future, what if we could settle on Mars? 
What challenges would we face and how could life on the red planet change our future? That's a story for another What If.